Hey guys, this is Abyss over at EverQuestBot.com. I'm going to show you how simple and easy it is to set up EQBot and get ready to roll boxing 30, 20, 6, no matter how many you want to box, EQBot will do that for you. So EQBot, I try to make it as simple as I can for everybody just to get it up and running. And you'll see how simple it really is. Um, first things first, let me explain to you how you would do it you would first have an anchor tune. You would have, let's say, your warrior, paladin, SK, or, or whoever it is that you're always playing on your main. Your boxes will just simply surround your main. So for me, I have my warrior. On my warrior, I will never run EQBot on. You don't need to, it's pointless, because you're actively playing your warrior. So then, on like, let's say, my mage, my cleric, my enchanter, all that, they will have their own PCs, and they'll be logged into their own PC in game. Once you get in game on those tunes, then you'll type in slash log on. Your log needs to be running at all times on your other PCs, the ones that you're boxing. And then once you have your log turned on, you would go to your download folder of EQBot and then you will launch it. Okay, once you launch it, you'll get a menu that looks like this. It's gonna be the EQBot beta login and then you type in your username and password that you get upon purchasing. So that's my username and that's my password. So I'm going to type in login. Okay, so you'll get this box that pops up right here. It's EQBot Beta 2.0. It will have this. Enter slaves EQ log directory and enter your master's character name. Okay, so these two things do very important tasks. Your enter your master's name. This part right here will be your anchor tune. The tune that you want your boxes to acknowledge commands from. So my name would be everquestbot.com, similar to my warrior's name as you see here. So my characters, all my other boxes that run EQBot will see this name and would be like, okay, I'm going to acknowledge the commands from this guy. Now, for instance, if I use some other guy's name, or if another guy's name sends my boxes a tell with the commands that are listed on my website, they won't do anything because their name is not put here. This allows your characters to do what they do. And then enter your slave's EQ log directory. Now, this is the second most important thing. This is what allows your other boxes to function. So what you'll need to do here is simply go to your log folder. This will be my log folder right here. And of course, you see my log right here. So then what you'll do is click right here, and you'll see your directory to your log file. So then you'll just right click here, grab that, go right here, type in, you know, the backspace, and then boom. Oops. And then you'll just copy and paste this. Do not copy and paste the .txt. You don't need that. For core nav, it just ends at the V. So you'll copy and paste all this. Boom, 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 boom. And that's it. It's now up and running. So no matter what commands I use, like jump, like assist, cast, spell one, all your boxes will acknowledge that. And I have all the commands listed anywhere from healing your characters, from sitting, to summoning mage pets, to attacking, to doing all the above on everquestbot.com. And it's as simple as that. Now, if you just want to end it, you just simply go to EQBot and you hit end bot. Actually, I actually already have the button here. It says EQBot command. So you would click on that and it'll launch this. And you can see here what everything does. Um, this will jump. This command will follow your master. This command will follow my target. Assist master, target group member one. And I have all the inventory mapped out. So if you have clickable items in any of these slots, you just send this command and it'll click those items on your boxes. This will automatically sit, that will stand. And this right here will cast spell slot one. It will auto cast it and also assist. So let's say my warrior is is attacking a target and I want my mage to DPS it. All I'll do is just type this in group chat or send a tell to my mage with that command and it'll automatically assist my warrior and, and do the direct damage spell. 
And these are also some healing macros here. So I'll send this in group chat, this command here. And I'll auto target group member one and cast my heal. And they'll auto target group member two, cast my heal, and so on and so forth, just by sending these little commands here. I'll post another video also on YouTube that shows EQBot working and how it all works. And it shows you, it shows me doing the commands and having my boxes acknowledge those commands. Well, I mean, if you need any more help, simply log on Discord, go to everquestbot.com website, and just click on the Discord link, it'll, it'll log you in there. And that's pretty much it. And thank you very much, and have a good one.